What's going on? No worries. No worries. Just, uh, you know, start. Uh, couldn't sleep today, so I decided to uh, go ahead and start streaming a little bit early. Been streaming for over an hour. We're currently having a uh, debate on whether or not um, meat can be considered a cookie. Uh, um... This chat has gone into a very strange place, and I'm not sure if we can actually get it back. I will say, yes, it could be a cookie, absolutely. Because, like, meat patties, like hamburgers, are basically meat cookies. False. No. Um, meat loaf would definitely be, it could be considered a cookie, because it has egg. It has a form of uh, bread, you know, with the crackers and stuff you put in it. You bake it like a cookie. I mean, it's basically a meat cookie. But yeah, but hamburgers? Course. Nah, I don't agree. So wait a second. So then, what's the difference between meatballs and meatloaf, other than the shape? And if a if a meatloaf is considered a meat cookie, wouldn't it be closer to a meat brownie instead? So meatballs, you don't really put any kind of like, well, I don't know. Do you put flour and stuff in in meatballs? You put uh, uh what you call it, like crackers and stuff like that. You put crackers, you put eggs, you put stuff like that. I used to work in a dying kitchen, legitimately. Right, well, I'm not against the idea that meatballs are also cookies, but yeah, I mean, if you want to be technical, I guess you could call meatloaf like a. Uh, like a bread? Like meat bread? I'm guessing that's where the loaf comes in. There you go. Hey, it's our shit, my coffee. Let me look. Wait, a what class destroyer? What's going on guys? Excalibur here and we are back for another episode inside the Anvil Reforge Eden community server. The reason why I am still on the Coffee Mess page is we are waiting for the SpaceX launch, which is estimated to be like three minutes before I would start my stream anyway. So I'm going to let this ride another nine minutes. So even though the timer goes out, we're going to let it ride a little bit so that we can uh, make sure we see this launch. Hopefully. I mean, if it if it goes past time, we'll just, you know, we'll just keep going with it, but. So, wait, SpaceX is uh, launching some stuff today? Yeah, they're doing a test rocket. I mean, what, what, what better way to launch the stream than literally shooting a billion dollar rocket into the sky? Like, I can't think of a better way to start a stream. I mean, you right? Yeah, and it's like, I know it's not only being launched for my sake but you know maybe maybe just a little part of it is for my sake i don't know elon musk has no idea who the hell you are you don't think so i, no. I disagree i disagree i don't think it would be far-fetched that he's probably 
you know, perusing, you know, Twitch randomly looking for space games, sees a space game, goes, this Imperion's really cool, but, you know, there's motorbikes in it, so I'm probably not going to play it, but I'll, I'll take a look. Who's this Excal guy? Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, okay, you know. It, you never know. And then I still am, I'm still, you know, 10% sure that Krell is, is Elon Musk, so if anything, I'm helping Krell is out, you know? And I'm also a house cat. Really? Yes. Um, Same chances. To each his own, man. I mean, I am I am not against the furry community. If that's your thing, then go for it, bro. I feel like we're about to dive into a deeper rabbit hole that we don't <laughs> want to. And we're just going to make a hard left and avoid the fuck out of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean... It, it, no, we're we're doing an about face, and we are marching the other direction, my man. All right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Look at that, the script HD popping off, dude. A tier three six month resub, man. That's got to be like a golden freaking battle axe right there, dude. Big hype. Six months already, man. Yeah, it's been a long freaking time, dude. Long time. Appreciate you, sir. Actually, if I if I wasn't super lazy, I could just start the stream and still have that window up there in the corner. Hmm. Actually, I was gonna ask you something about your uh, your microphone settings, believe it or not. Oh God. <laughs> what okay. do you have your What do you have your noise gate numbers at? Um. Uh, all right. Hold on. I love how you waited till we're live to to ask me this. All right. Um, noise gate is closed threshold negative 36, open threshold negative 28. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna, we're gonna try to start the thing and then just add that in. Let's go. Check. Um... <laughs> What's going on guys? Excalibur here again for the beginning of the Anvil Reforging and Community Server Let's Play. I am going to try a thing and go no, that's not it. Damn it. I mean it's it, but it's like the wrong it. Hold on. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Boom. We did it. You got it up? Yeah, I think so. I think it's good. You guys can see it, right? You can't hear it. I think we're good. Nice. Damn it, script. All right, hold on. What's script? Wait, what's script doing? No, oh, he's calling me on my, uh, for, uh, window framing. There we go, script. Good to go. Now it's ASA, not NASA. Damn it. Nope. Boom. Oh, what? Man. Screw it. It's good enough. Asa is an ally of Anvil. <laughs> of anal faction. Yeah. Asa and anal. It's all related. It's a joint venture. 
I'm so glad both of our channels are 18 plus. <laughs> it's a joint conglomerate. Carlos is probably triggered. He's like, damn it. That's why I made the reset five minutes before XCAL. So now you start your streams five minutes before? What the hell? <laughs> I mean, I've, I was, I literally have been streaming for like an hour and 30 minutes. So yeah, I was on, but I was just kind of doing like stuff. Crafting oh, yeah. Stuff. I, saw, I saw you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. Hey, it's it's Jay Rizzy. What's up, man? Oh my God, it's Mr. Ah, Jay Randall. Don't mind me, just screwing my stupid headphones again. I gotta rip these things apart and clean this contact or something. Yeah, one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Well. As soon as I download the Imperion soundtrack, <laughs> I complete every stream that. Oh, I hate it that I have to do it, but I refuse to just download the damn thing. Did you say that you were going to tear that thing apart last week? Yeah, building gets in the way. We wouldn't get builds if you started doing other things. Come on now. His priorities I mean, are in the perfect place. To be completely honest, like, if, I, don't I, know, like, had, if I had, like, <laughs> Jay Randall's address, I would totally just buy him new headphones. There you go. There you go, Jay. You got, a, you got an Amazon wish list, Jay? I'm sorry, I can't really even hear you guys right now. He doesn't even know what that means. I... Jay Reynolds doesn't know what an Amazon anything is. He thinks Amazon is a uh, biome in, in the planet. Starter planet. Oh, man. Headphones aren't working. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, uh... so we could just say anything and you wouldn't hear us. Almost, I can't hear you at all because oh. it like crackles out. It, um, whatever happened. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Um. One sec. Um. Do you, do you really normally? I'm gonna limit? fire up the game too. Um, and I'll try to. If I can get this button in maybe the right position, maybe I can fix it. But other than that, I can barely hear anything. That's not good. Grumble with the raid party at two. Thank you, sir. Welcome to XBC. Grumble with the tier three five month resub. Very nice, dude. Two tier three resubs for the stream, dude. That's epic. Shout out to Script. Shout out to Grumble. Epic. Yes. Be awesome, sirs. Script is uh, script is kind of being a little bit of an all star today. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he hit me with five uh, five gift subs. Uh, Dude, here we go. Just like he scared the crap out of me because I'm just sitting here doing my thing, you know, right? You know, trying to mine, and all of a sudden I hear like five dings go off, and I about pissed myself. <laughs> nice. Hey, Randall. Damn it. Hey. Hey. You good? Man, I I cannot hear you guys. What's is so weird Discord? though is I'm hearing. Uh... Restart Discord. Yeah, let me try that. Oh, you almost got killed by a Corvette. Well, well, well. No, I almost got killed by a destroyer. Um, I almost got killed by some Xerox ion ion drones. <laughs> like really? Wow. We we but I found gold. Oh, oh, that's good. Yeah. J Cam. Okay, hold on. Yeah, gotta get. Well, hey. let him sort himself out first before we worry about that. Hey, I think I. Everything seems to be okay oh, right now. Oh, cool. 
Yeah. I had some really funky volume levels, too, that... Ah, man, yeah. It's starting to suck. All right. What's up? <laughs> what's up, go. man? How you doing? Oh, not too bad. All right. Not too bad. Had a real busy morning working on something so I could have it ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're going to get that in today. We got a lot of shit to do today, man. We yeah. Got, we, got, we got some good stuff to do today. I'm excited. Um... Let me get your cam going here. Oh, let me start that a minute. Obsidian, what were you saying? You were saying something. Which uh, which one of these settings uh, cancels out the the quieter noises on this uh, threshold thing? This noise gate. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, I don't know. Um, hold on. Because apparently my heater is driving my chat insane. Okay, hold on. Uh, so my attack time's 25, hold time's 200, and release time's 500. And then do a noise suppression and take it down to like negative 55. All right, so we got J cam, we got we got SpaceX cam. Well, now SpaceX cam doesn't look. Damn it, it's it's not even. Hold on, we got to make it even, guys. SpaceX cam. Oh. Yeah, SpaceX is launching a uh, test rocket any second oh. now. So they're they're about six oh, minutes wow. late. Yeah, we'll see. Things are happening though. There's there's lots of things happening on the ground. Sur huh. Surface steam and stuff. Surface steam. <laughs> yeah, surface surface steam. Holy crap. Seeing a bunch of stuff out here, too. Dude, yeah. Oh, let's start there. Okay, good stuff. So, um, <laughs> we we brought in the uh, the production module and the cargo module. I, 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 I noticed that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, screw it. Yeah, we. I mean, we just, we were like, you know, hey, we need something. We need more constructors in the base. And I'm just like, it's kind of counterproductive. It's like, let's just get the things in we're going to really use. And they could just sit there and be used. So, oh, that, right. that thing right. we're just using to make fuel, basically. So, every constructor in there is making fuel. Um, oh, you know, nice. Yeah, so, I mean, that's good to go. Right. And then we got yeah. the cargo up there. That's That hasn't been used yet, but eventually we'll be able to use that for more cargo and then eventually convert over to that. Um, yeah. And then if you see over here, follow me all the way uh, to the uh, opposite side of the base here, going inland. Uh, all right, heading that way. You'll see uh, You'll see some, uh, some little base uh, pad thingies. Oh so, yeah. So I whipped this up really quick in creative yesterday, like last night. Just a, uh, it's a very simple, uh, repair pad basically for okay. big CVs. Oh. So it's just made out of carbon. It's got oh. um yeah, it's got it's got three large generators. It's got a repair block. It's got Wi-Fi. Oh, um, nice. And you got two of them. Yeah, that's and, the extent. And, and, and and dual dual combat ships. <laughs> dual combat ships. Yeah. So yeah. Um, Very nice. Wow. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna use to go like own something like hopefully some infectors today. Oh yeah. We can get some nice, quantums. Nice. Um but what we're gonna do more immediate is we're gonna launch the um the Plutus M two. Oh the M two. You wanna you wanna okay now now you do I I know I uh, made mention it's not meant to land on planets. It can. But yeah, 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 yeah but, but you, you don't wanna put a, a heavy load in it because it won't be able to take off probably. <laughs> Yeah, no. Well, what I figure now, this is just me, but if I come back full, which I think is kind of ridiculous to think I can come back full, isn't there like a bunch of cargo in that thing? Um, yeah. Yeah. So I don't think I'll be full full, but if I come back and I drop, I mean that's fine, you know, because I'm not going to take off again until it's empty. Right. Okay. Because I'm just that dropping cool. off. So that's the hope, and I can see where I need to go from Atmos, right? So I don't, or from uh, orbit. Right. You know what I mean? So I could. I think I'll be all right. Okay. 
right, that SpaceX is cool. SpaceX rocket needs more J. Randall tech strain. It's true. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty X caled there. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be happy to uh, need some colors. Yeah, yeah, paint it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome, man. Like you're watching a NASA live stream, and they're like, you know, they're inside, you know. Oh yeah, it's, it's like and... like T minus ten nine. Hold it. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Some dude runs out there with this, like, paint gun. He's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, no, it's you. They're like, hey, you know, and you're like, hey, this is uh, this is Jeff Randall. I'm here. I am the official uh, rocket painter. And they're like, oh, oh look at this guy. Yeah, it's literally rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it does need more cabinet textures. I agree. There's not one on there. Sort of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Without cabinet textures, what what would you do, man? <laughs> no, it's no, it's really true. So this is um. The, the... Can, can can you imagine this game, right? If the only textures available were the Xeno set, period. That's it. No. I oh my god! Like Dude, ever, ever... <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Why? Why even bother? I wouldn't even. That's how that that's how passionate I am about the Xeno textures. <laughs> yeah, no. They're they're not yeah, I mean they're they're kinda yeah, they're pretty bad. There's just <laughs> I don't get the reasoning is the thing. I think they closed their eyes and just pointed at textures and went, Yeah, put those in. Oh, right, yeah. I mean I, or it was the default ones that came with Unity. Could be. Was it? Be. Was that what happened? I'm I'm betting you that's what happened. I don't think any textures because they got all their textures off of DeviantArt. I don't know. I don't know. One way or the other. It sucks. All right. The problem is name all these names for these things. Um, Helios. Here we go. Helios P module. Okay. So storage 2 should have a bunch of carbon by now. Nice. So we're going to lock that in there. So I did take in the... Uh, I did take the... Plutus M2 into creative, and I, I changed all the blocks to hardened steel, so we should be good. We oh, should, oh, we should be oh good. yeah, okay. yeah. I did the testing, so it should be it should be really really good. Um, so let's go ahead and let's like make it. Oh, laser upgrade kits. All right, hold on. No, well, wait a minute. I, the, the, the Plutus M2 was all hardened steel, so you should no, no, the it. internal, the internal internals. Oh, he made all that. Okay, there, yeah, there yeah, was yeah. okay. Yeah, just a it was just a couple of them a lot. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Do we have the laser upgrade kits, or do we need to go buy some? No, no, we do. Yeah, we do. We got plenty, I think. Um, so we got six here. Um, we, yeah, we could probably make some better weapons, too. Yeah. We got a bunch of upgrades. Pretty happy with my current Current. Well, I got like two main guns, and the third one I haven't. Oh yeah, I got a, a decent shotgun. Nice, uh, a, one of the the red heavy assault rifles and the M seventy seven anti tank rifle. Ah. Yeah, that's a uh, content. Content with the loadout. And content. That's good. Um. What was I gonna say? There is a uh, one of those weird alien plasma blaster things in the. Uh box in the base there uh grenade launcher you got a grenade launcher those are i uh, no, I, I don't actually have a grenade launcher dude that's <laughs> that's a must man there's a bunch of those in the uh one of the cargo pallets in the base like the whatever the regular boxes like if you check oh. like, the second logistics container there's some in there is that a chicken in the background could be yeah probably probably me the that that was legit a chicken in your background. <laughs> That's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's every day. Um. Wow, well, all kinds of different armor in there too, huh? There you go. Uh, heavy. I got. Oh. Let's let's see. Durable light. Is that worthwhile, or is it better to go with like medium? I think there's a reinforced medium somewhere. Yeah, you maybe can totally I, have. I, I maybe I got that on right now. I gotta figure. Oh, there's uh, there's the thing. It Man. might actually be in the armor repair that I installed last night. Oh yeah, yeah. There is a yeah. I see one in there. I got a here. I'm gonna take off my current armor. See what I got going on here. Now, is there I any did. more guns anywhere? Because I actually don't have enough here. 
You know, oh, you never have enough guns, man. I mean, yeah. Well, no, uh, lasers. I need laser guns. If anybody knows where any laser guns are. If not, I I'll have to. Uh, I'll, well, I don't know what I'll do. I, I might have to. Uh, I don't want to take apart a Plutus, but I might I might take apart my little miner. <sighs> well, how many are you? Sh how many oh. are you short? Right now, I am five short. You're five short, so that would be your minor plus one. So, I mean, yeah, if we um, we could probably if we took apart a Plutus, it would I would vote the one that doesn't have the long range sensor on it. No, no, I don't want to. I don't think that's smart. I think you know, once we get this in, we're gonna have three good miners. So you guys will always have miners. I'll always be able to use a miner. Like we won't have to fight over miners. So I think that's, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So there's no, also I... a Polaris trade station within our system that we could go to to see if they have anything. Yeah, that might be a better idea. Do you know? Is there any place that has like uh, armor uh, or suit upgrades? Yeah, Anywhere? uh, Logistics Container 2. On what? On the, this the base? Nest, on the nest, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, we're gonna have to... So, uh, what's a good one? Is it multi-boost? Or... I run jetpack? all multi-boosters, yeah. Annie suggested the multi-booster, so I just run four of those. All right. doing it. I have an extra multi-boost if you want it there, uh, Jay. You know, there's a couple uh, spare here, so yeah, I'm good. Um, now, I only got three slots. Now, I, I, I like to keep... I hate that armor thing, but I really like just having the EVA ready because when you're cold or whatever, it's great. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you want to have an EVA. Oh, so maybe... Uh, here. Find a good load out here. Yeah, let's, uh, let's. Do we want to jump into something and go see if the uh, that uh, Polaris station's got anything, or do you yeah. want me to just go? Yeah, let's go. I'm in the labyrinth. Jay, All let's right. go to the store. All right. Uh, one sec. Um, do we got uh, do we got some 15 mil ammo somewhere too? I just want to stock up on that. Probably out of looking I think ammo so. box. Um. Yeah, I have some in the Labyrinth's output. The shit that you get in, so. Got a thousand there. Output, oh, oh, cool. Need it in, good to go. Oh, I didn't mean to take all thousand. <laughs> One sec, damn it. How can I split this? Right click, Jay. Right click, drag. Did SpaceX just fail? It looks like it. What? Oh. Yeah, there's some major, like, steam coming out the side of it. Uh oh. Oh, they aborted? Wow. Alright, Labras. It's like rockets are complicated or something. <laughs> yeah. Lab coats assemble! Uh. <laughs> One of them pops into our uh, voice chat. Hey, uh, can we talk to. Uh... <laughs> can you assemble your guys? We, we got. We gotta hash this one out. Be like, all right, guys, hold on. Man, I can't. Going to a live and prop to uh, NASA stream. I'm still coming. Okay. All right. Had to find where you're parked. <laughs> There's like a lot of a lot of, a lot of stuff around here, man. It is. There is. Yeah. I I am kind of thinking that we do need to maybe bring in the double XL uh, landing pad so we can put some of this stuff on a pad. Uh, you you in? I, is everybody in? I'm in. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Now you gotta tell me where this Polaris station is, cause I don't know. It, it's it's literally the, the satellite. K E B. Or oh, in the system. Yeah, like. Okay. The um, K B E I thirty one. Zero seventy nine two. 
It's literally in the system. That's where I've been. That's where I'm getting, going to get uh, platinum and stuff. Like every time they restock, I'm just like, eh, I'll just pick we, up a little we, bit. We don't need platinum anymore. <laughs> did, you, did you find a platinum asteroid? No, but you just don't really need it for anything other than like the warp drives. Once we, you know what I mean? Like, we we probably have enough to suffice. You know what I mean? And we'll find we'll find platinum asteroids once we go out. Oh uh, yeah, we're working on getting a little bit more mobile there, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. So once we, once we get the Helios in, like, yeah, we'll we'll be all over the damn place. You need plat for tier two turret. Oh shit! No, really? Oh well, then that changes shit. Mm, yeah, platinum, platinum, good. So yeah, yeah, Obsidian and yeah, Al Donk, both of you, uh, man, you guys been uh, busy <laughs> getting a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, you know, kind of. Middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to say any other words. <laughs> they're, 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 you know, sometimes, you know, we just both get in a minor and we cuddle through the stars. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Oh. yeah my, uh, space no. mine is kind of, kind of, you know, it's one of those things I don't, I don't mind in this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind in this game. Uh, no, I mean, I, I don't mind. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. It's just, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. There's uh there's two Polaris trading actually hey there's didn't realize there was actually two stations in here. One of them's so can... pirates, right? No, there's two Polaris trading stations. Really? That's weird. So straight up like one, two. What is the purpose of this? Purpose of two Polaris trading stations? Yeah. I mean, if one vendor runs out of the thing that you're trying to buy a lot of, you could go to the other vendor. I'm betting you they're clones oh, of each other. That's true. Well, that's right. You like chasing question marks. I forgot about that. It's that World of Warcraft player in me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What was that other game you tried to get me into? The Destiny or whatever? And it was just a bunch of question marks I had to run around in a in a city or something and i'm like when does the game start like i've been running after question marks for an hour like this is stupid honestly <laughs> like i've i've tried to get you into so much crap and i've just given up on like <laughs> anything that's not basically an imperion clone <laughs> I, but but i don't like imperion clones like like keeve tried to get me into interstellar rift and i played it for five minutes and i'm like this is stupid <laughs> like kind of like the survival game aspect but then again you really don't like those that often either oh i do i do but they got uh, no listen i'll play any survival game and i do like any name a game that's survival i've played it like i just might not stream it but i definitely love survival games but um yeah no not i i don't love the the mmos of of recent you know of the last 10 15 years Daisy, uh, ugh, I, I, I've played Daisy. There's, I, I don't like, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not that much into scavenger, uh, looting kind of games. Like, I'm more into like the building survival stuff and the, uh, Daisy's cool, but, eh, I get bored. Plus, I hate how people can move servers and retain all their gear and just come in and just destroy people without having to like be on the server. I think that's kind of weird. I mean, you do do seven days a lot. That's that's one of your like catch alls. That's my favorite game. Yeah, seven days. They, they really they really updated those zombie models. Yeah, no, seven days is awesome. Valheim is really cool. That's another game that I that I like. I just you know I just don't have time to play it. I, I want to play this too much. Oh, I, I like Valheim a lot too. I've yeah, been, uh, it's a I've good been, game. Man. Been messing with that a little bit here and there. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's cool. Trolls destroyed your base. <laughs> they they did though. No, I'm being serious. They. Oh oh the, oh the, but yeah you know I've been seeing videos of like the yeah when you take on more bosses. Um, someday I'll, I got to get back in there. I've been uh, I've been kind of screwing around in uh, like a little single player thing here and there, kind of building and learning the ropes of building in the game and 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of cool, man. I'm like excited. I'm, I actually want to build like cities now. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it is cool. Loose J. Randall to Valheim. This is going to be Khan. No, well, no. I mean, I mean they're, they're, they're both very different. You know, um, Valheim doesn't cover the uh, the sci-fi edge, but yeah, it, it uh, definitely is. is uh, yeah. One of the coolest games, you know, there's a handful of games, and it's, you know, my personal likings that I've, I've found to be just the, the funnest ones in the last few years that are new, you know. Um, and one of those is They Are Billions. It's uh, like... I have you ever seen her? I don't know if you're like RTS games, but it's like a survival RTS game. It's so damn fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, An OG StarCraft player, man. I love survival. I love that. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. I know. I, I yeah, I love RT- RTSs too. It's been a while since I played them. I got I got a few that I like the, the the most out of all all of them that I played, and I played a lot of them because I was really into that for a while. But um, of course, StarCraft. You know, the, especially the original Brood War StarCraft. Where I played it oh. the most. Hell yeah, StarCraft. And then um, Empire Earth, the original one. I thought I love that one. And then uh, Age of Empires two. Oh, did you see that they did? Uh, they did some remakes of those. Yeah, I, I have. I, I I actually I bought one and I tried it, but it. This day and age, I'm. I guess I'm just used to. I don't know. I I didn't get back into it basically. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it though. Um, and then uh, let's see, what, where did I go from there? Um, I think my all-time favorite was Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Um, that one, that uh, that is such an awesome R- RTS game. Um, then uh, Sins of Solar Empire, liked that one a lot. I've actually played that one, believe it or not. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, that's got a bunch of expansions and stuff too for it. And then, uh, then they are billions. Now they are billions of single player only, but it's a really, really fun one. It's just set up right and everything works flawlessly and so much strategy. Um, but it's, it's easy to get into it. It seems simple, but it's not. <laughs> are you finding any laser upgrade kits, uh, Excal, or are we just going to have to go to Anvil City? Can laser drills, do laser drills give you a laser kit? Uh, like the actual like hand drills. The laser drill. Anybody in chat tell me? Just laser guns, not the laser drills. That makes no sense. Literally a laser drill. Hmm. So, uh, how many do you need on these things? Five. Five and um. Hmm. No, I'm okay, just here we up. go. Laser rifle. See, I don't even have enough to buy one laser rifle. What, uh, how much is a laser rifle? Well, laser upgrade, oh, here we go. Laser upgrade kits are 4,000. I could buy one. Hold on, what, what vendor? Um, he is in the... You, you see the burgers and fries place? Yeah. Uh, come to the ATM next to it. And then come into this room, conference room. Hi, guy. Oh, hello there, Mr. Xerox looking dude. With your uh, horrible teeth. Wow, uh, dude, there's swamp monsters all over the place. <laughs> What's going on with that, man? These are. Oh, and these guys. Jeez, infiltrators. What do are these players a... into? We need five of them, right? Four. If we shoot all these people, could we just. Would we get enough? Of those five. Cards? No, four. Yeah, four. Five or four? Four. Four. We'll shoot them later. We're playing the long <laughs> game here. We're playing the long game. Oh, oh, oh. Right, right. All right. I got you. I got the four. Nice. Throw them down. I'll put them in there now. We got to kill some Xerax. We could be cool with the pirates again. <laughs> what the Whoa! Place, but... Something crazy just happened. What? what Something crazy what just that? happened. Annie Noam with the two year resub. Bro. Oh. 
<laughs> Two year anniversary, sir. Legend status. Epic XBC legend status. Completed. It's all down here for me, bro. <laughs> nice. Dude. Dude, that's big. Two damn years. Two years, man. That's big, big. Big, big. Big hype for any no aim. Wow, dude, that's yeah, that's awesome, man. Dual wielding gold swords for any, absolutely. Dual wield hype. This is our, our what? Cake, cake. Yeah, I I got cake. Actually, like I literally have cake. Yeah, some cake, 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 lemon cake. <sighs> So I'm hypothermic. Yeah, no, I was noticing that. Mm. We just need to mine a lot of gold asteroids. We can make money pretty quick, I think. Do you know how hard it is to find a gold asteroid? Uh, I don't know. We found them before. You just gotta. Oh yeah. No, they're 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 findable. They're just usually next to some Xerox that are angry. Oh, um, yeah. You go go on those like. Like hit, hit and run, like mine it and get the heck out operations, like stealth. You could try Exc Excalibur's approach, turn off the engines and drift. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's a Plutus. <laughs> or no, seriously, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be an interesting way. Just spring up behind the asteroid, let them shoot the other side of the asteroid while you mine it, and then like spew off. There you go, Jay. Some outside waiting on you, bro. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> out, out in the fan tail. All right, hold up. I gotta get. I gotta. I gotta figure my way out of here. Is there a stairs exit? Probably not. Or maybe. Oh. Well. Up. Oh. Damn it. Where am I going? That's the, that's the bigger. That's uh. Oh no! That that's the M2. That's that's the new one. Yeah. Oh, damn it! I can't find my way out of this building. One sec. <laughs> oh, you're in the building. Oh, I thought you're. I thought you're on the ship. No, no, no. I'm in here. How did I get here? So sort of came up this way. Yes. I gotta go down. Ouch. All right, this oh. thing takes 140, 37, and 15. Do I have any of that on me? And oh, I, I forgot to mention too. It's it's gonna need some. Uh, I think it. No, maybe it doesn't. Reforge no. Aiden and compatibility instructions and in yeah. You need to add two improved IC cores. No, yes. I, I already did all that. Yeah, we're good. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, okay, cool. It's completely good. It's ready to go right freaking now, but it has no ammo, so be careful. Uh, how do you get out of this building? Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> just if you just go down the stairs and you just keep going down. I the am down the I am down. I, I'm down the stairs. There's Hold on. We're coming to rescue you, Jay Randall. Oh, hold on, hold on. Maybe it's maybe it's down this way. Randall currently stuck oh, being defeated by the team. Where the hell am I now? BOI. Oh, oh god. Now I'm in the bottom somehow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> big height. Big height. It's, like uh... it's like a roach motel, man. You, 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 you come in, but you can't get out. <laughs> All right, Dave. Slowly describe your surroundings. Um, I'm next to the tired spaceman place on the main floor, I think, by a Christmas tree. Big hype to, to uh, Rig uh, for getting his new computer up. Big hype. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming up. So I got to go down from here. All right, this one, this one right here. Go with this yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. A. A is a number. A is a, oh okay. A is an auto. Okay, so then Stop. I go away. Stop! Stop! Right here. Come. Yes. This one. Yes. Oh. Come. Yes. Hey. There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that, wow. that is a, that's tricky. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. 
There you go, buddy. Ah, uh, uh, the, 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 the M2. Uh, mine, mine something. You, you mine. go mine. But not uh, here. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not not here, and really should get ammo first. I mean, that would well, be. It, there's, it, uh, there's some fifteen. You know, there's some fifteen. You're fine. Let's go that, mine a couple uh, things. Just a couple right. things. You'll be fine. Let's go mine a couple right. things. Well, just don't do it here because we're in Polaris space, and you'll kill our reputation. Oh, okay. Well, that's lame. Oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah. I know. That is actually kind of a really sexy miner there, uh, Jay Randall. Uh, oh, thank man, you, thank lie. you. And that is not gonna lie. Like that it, is, it is actually. Well, I I did uh, I I had to work with a rectangle that fits a module bay, but yeah, I I, I was uh, heavily inspired by tunnel boring machines on the front. That's why I really wanted to make that front look kind of the way it does. And put in that other shape with the rectangle. <laughs> What's the other thing you you sent me? What what was the name of it? It is the Apollo, um, uh, something dropship. HGD or, or, module. Got it. Yep. Yep. What are we gonna need for that? So that one's probably expensive too. It's yeah. It... All right. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna head back to base. You go ahead and mine a little bit if you want, and then um. Whenever you're ready, head back. Cause I, I'm gonna make some of those matrixes and stuff. But then we're also okay. gonna prep to go uh, to go fight some shit. All right, all right. So, well, here I'm gonna go back to base since I'm right here, and I'm gonna uh, make. Sure, I just want to make sure I have ammo and stuff. I know you. Oh, okay, no problem. I, I'll, I'll probably be fine. But yeah, if, if I get swarmed by drones, I've only got four minigun or uh, yeah, four minigun turrets on here. So, out of the eleven. So that's not no, much. No, great. I'm good. Protection. <laughs> um. So if um, when, when you get back to the base in the nest, there's a box called ammo. Uh, it's like number six or seven or something. That'll have oh, uh, plenty of the rockets and all that stuff for it. Oh, sweet. Um, I'm. I gotta ask. What What's the name of our home planet? <laughs> <laughs> you should. Yeah, make a I, make a thing. But it's me own. It's me own. Me on. Oh, so it. Well, oh, yeah. Set a waypoint at the base. That way you could just warp to the base. You don't even have to worry about anything. You should just see the warp point and you could just go straight to it without having to map it. What? You can do that? Yeah, as long as you're within, you know, 60, right? I mean, you could just warp straight back. Like, you don't have to do the whole star map thing. As long as that waypoint's active, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Oh, Krellis has put a LCD up on your ship. That, that's a good idea too. That's classic Imperion right there. Where you had the, all uh, the L planet names and what what auto miners were on what planets and all that crap. I will be right back, gentlemen, and just because I need to uh, go pick up a package from my front door. All right. All right. So we got to get a uh, a long range yep. on that thing too. Um, I yeah, I'll probably rip it off of the uh, Labrys here so that we can get one on that. It makes more sense on the miner. Yeah. So we can get more money to uh, get some for everything. Tuli, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing good today.
Nice day off is always good. Guys, I am, um, I am, well, I spent the morning kind of, uh, plotting out, um, all the little things I need to, uh, do the cooking stream, um, for this month, so that, that will be happening this month, 100%. Um, the only thing I gotta wait on is, um, I'm ordering a special knife for said event, so I'm just gonna wait for that, but, so, yeah, it should, it'll definitely be this month. Um, in the coming weeks, we'll be doing the, uh, the cooking stream. It's gonna be awesome. Freaking big hype. Can't wait. It's gonna, it's gonna be cool, man. Long awaited. But it was a lot of things. It was the internet. It was, um, um, the laptop to be able to stream kind of mobily without having to bring my rig outside and all that crap. So it's like, it's harder than I thought it was going to be when I was like, Hey, I'm going to do a cooking stream. So yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been a thing. I also, uh, I'll be looking around for my desk. I'm pretty sure what desk I'm getting, but I want to make sure 100% that that's the best one to get. I don't think... Oh, okay. We gotta move all this out to the module. We shouldn't be doing fuel in the base. We should be doing it in the module. I'm back. Oh, okay. Hey, Obsidian. The, uh, the module outside by the water, that's where we're doing all the fuel production. So I need to move all this stuff out there. So that we free up these two constructors for the, uh, for the other crafting stuff. You know there's four constructors, right? Yeah, but there's eight in the module, and it's all just for fuel. So that whole module is dedicated to fuel production. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is a lot of fuel production. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a question about the cargo module. Uh-huh. If we fill that up, how are we going to get it into the space? Well, that's the thing with all these modules. If... I don't think that they're made to be space only and docked uh, on the, the the production and the cargo module, and don't, this one actually. Don't don't, <laughs> don't don't worry don't worry a second about that. Not even a second. You have to worry <laughs> about that because I will bring the tug of hawk in and we'll get those things into space. Not a problem. <laughs> Easy peasy. We will tow that shit to space before we worry about that. It just make to me it makes sense to not spawn in anything else. That we're not going to be using long game now so it's like if if i could bring in a module that will consolidate production way more efficiently than having a whole big base it it just makes sense to me i don't know and then the mm, ability to yeah. kind of move it around and get it out of your way if you need to it just i don't know plus i want to i want to get to know these modules you know i mean these are the things we're going to be using for the foreseen future you know yep yep yeah that's that's cool man yeah, I want to get that other that now that other module, the 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 new one. Um, that one is really set up for for like planet landing and stuff. So that that one that one's good for that. It can should be able to lift its uh, full eight three twenty k cargo systems plus a couple HVs and SVs. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, so this thing needs, let's see here. This thing needs 16 matrixes and I need 24 bridges. What are you bringing in? Jay's new uh, dropship. Ah, okay. You know me, I always got new stuff. <laughs> But okay, so while that's crafting, okay, so you're mining, right? Me, no, I'm. I just landed back on planet here. I wanted to load this thing up with ammo. Okay, so that's in the and ammo box. I didn't even think about it. I got all these advanced constructors on there. I could have made it a goal to find the right ammo. Ah, oh, no, I probably need wood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually did some uh, some wood mining before the stream. That's what I was doing the first hour there. So I needed the carbon to uh, bring that uh, miner in. Yeah, dude, looking good. Looking good. I'm 
Oh my god, I'm blind. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ammo. There's a size class 18.5 extended Helios out there. Oh, I'm sure of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sure of it. I'm starting to think that four slots might not be enough for us, but I don't know. <laughs> so... Well, I mean, I mean, we should... We, we could make, I mean, it I wouldn't take that long. I, I can make a modified version with a little copy paste real quick and sling it together with, with six regular bays. Yeah, I'm liking it, six. I think six makes sense. That way we can have two miners. We could have cargo. We could have production. We could have uh, garden. And then that yeah. leaves us six for, you know, whatever, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. True. God, I gotta, I gotta pay attention. <laughs> I'm still not paying attention. Commando got the Helios in today, big guy. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, Garman says he has a six-slot variant. He could post on Discord. Cool. X <laughs> Hexlia Hex Xxelios. Yeah. So there are people that are lit. So that big ass thing is not big enough. I, there, there's a lot of available modules now, and That's more, 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 and more, all, more coming. Yeah, I mean, and March is literally module month, so March module madness, <laughs> dude. It's like, dude, you're gonna need a twelve slaughter just to put in all the awesomeness. Like, we we will be getting the crazy Z Helios luxury model module, luxury model module. I hope. I don't know. I haven't talked to him, but I'm I'm just assuming. Like we're gonna get You're a just assuming. Du yeah, we're gonna get a du Dubronic. Du du I don't know how to say it, but you know what I mean. We're gonna be getting uh, yeah, we're gonna be getting a luxury crazy Z module. I'm excited. <laughs> crazy Z instantly scraps whatever he's doing right now. He's like, damn it, XCOM. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was doing this. <laughs> do whatever, crazy. I'm joking, but joking, not oh. joking. A <laughs> little bit of joking. A little bit of joking. Uh, let's see. Flak shells. Do you have any of those made anywhere? Any what? Uh, flak shells. Uh, CV flak shells? Um, ooh, maybe not. I don't think that's something that we've really been using. Well, actually, no, yeah. Take, take them yeah. out of the Labyrinth. And then I'll make oh, more. Yeah. No, no, I'm not using oh, the yeah. Labyrinth again today. So take them out of the Labyrinth for now, and I'll just make some more. You sure? All right. Totally 100% sure. We need to mine. I'll actually go with you, because there's not really anything else I can do right now until I get these bridges and matrixes built. Now, if we leave the play field, is that going to ruin that crafting? Um, if we leave the um, the solar system, I think. Because I've, we, I've been able to go like in solar system and stuff gets crafted, but if we leave the like actual solar system, I think it might pause. Alright. But I thought when it paused, I thought when you re-entered, it just immediately like gave you that time and instantly kind of crafted it. I mean, what should happen and what actually happens are usually two different things. Yeah. Alright, we'll play it by ear. Let's go. To mine. Alright. Um. Sweet. Which way do you fly this? This way, right? Yeah, the bridge over here. I mean, are we going on a mining trip? Yeah. Are we gonna take all three miners? Oh, I. Or or or, or, or do we wanna? I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I was gonna. Fly yeah, with you, I mean, but I guess that makes sense. Well, it's, it's it's up to you. I mean, we we could fly in one ship. I, we'll get more, obviously, we'll quicker. We'll get more if we do it. Yeah, you're right. It makes sense. I'll take a Plutus. Damn it. Oh, and and, and uh, unless you want to take the uh, you want to take the new one for now. I'll, I'll uh, no, we'll... no 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 no. Right, you sure? That's you, buddy. That's you, buddy. All right, all right. Yeah, I want you to uh, I want you to experience all your builds, man. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Yep. It feel it feels a little bit different than well. The sound of it's different because it's got more thrusters than the regular Plutus, so it's like, yeah. Oh man, it's kind of nice having those like EVA or these uh, the right boosters in your armor. You can actually jump more you. than like what, what like two feet in the air. Right. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing. <laughs> right.
Good to go. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright. <laughs> you, you okay, Jay? Jay's going oh, like yeah. upside down orb. <laughs> like, what are you? <laughs> Am I upside down? Yeah, no, you're like literally, like, you literally went like, you know, over 180 to like go vertical. <laughs> like, like, you're going backwards vertical. It's. <laughs> I got to space quick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where, where where are we going here? What's oh this man. Let's see. Um. Have we been to that, in Custoria? I was just looking at the same one. No, yeah, okay. it doesn't. I don't have any lines going there. So let's let's check it out in Custoria. In Custoria. Yeah. In Custoria. What? Oh, I don't have the advanced warp core in here. Why? What? What? Oh, oh yeah, it should have. It must be a reforged transition or something. Yeah, the the, the warp core in here is screwed. Oh, screw barred. Yeah, shit. Um, we have the stuff. Crap. Upgrade it. Um, is that an upgrade with the upgrade tool thingy? We should have the stuff at the base. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I um, it's saying it, it's just saying it's not an advance, which I thought it should have been an advance. That's weird. <laughs> Is it okay? Maybe it's the old one. May, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Maybe I just gotta like pull it and replace it. Yeah, do that. Do that as an admin. Um. Oh. Yeah, go into. It's okay. Go into God. I mean, that's fine. That's that's a legitimate. So. All right. Ah. Uh, Man, I gotta center this thing. I can't move now. Okay. Yeah, we got a couple good areas on this system too. It's all undiscovered. A lot of commons. We we kind of need everything. Kind of need all the commons and everything. Uh, well, that's we're definitely not gonna get the restroom. No, I discovered by El Donk on uh, ten fourteen. <laughs> oh, oh, so El Donk's been here already. Uh, El Doc's been to the restroom one here, uh, and I've been to the um, one of them as well. I thought she said, "Oh, do you have the one that has the long range scanner?" Thank you. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, there's a dreadnought over here. Um, you got ammo on that, right, Jay? Yes, I do. I do have ammo on this. Okay. Um. Okay, so I, I just put in the new warp core. Let me toss out the rest of these. <laughs> so I'm thinking we have... Um, there's three of us, right? So I think... How many turrets do you have on the Plutus? There's one, two, three, four... There's eight. Should have been... Uh, oh, on this one? Um, Eleven. Eleven plus... So, I mean, we're looking... We have over 20 turrets. I feel like we could take the Dreadnought as a team. What do you think? I, in Miners. No, no, dude, these are way too expensive. Either. They're not complex. No, Jay, come I, on, I, man. You, you're you're kidding your, me, right? No, where's your, you know, come on, where's your can do attitude, man? I feel like <laughs> we could do that. It wouldn't be, I honestly, like, if there was only two of us, I wouldn't even suggest it. But there's three of us. I think three people doing anything, we should be able to, to do that. No, no, honestly, no, no. I feel like that's not and even a problem. Right, right, right. Um, here I got a snap out of God mode and get rid of that. You know what? All right, so I'm I I finally warped here by you guys. So, all right, what system are you in, Mexico? I feel oh, like you I feel like El Dong's been here. Um, 
Where, well, which one has? Oh, it which says one undiscovered. Are you in? I'm in Epsilon. I guess it says undiscovered, so. Epsilon. Where? 1498 2. Is oh, there another yeah. one? It, it literally. Well, there's. The ah, same place there's... you were saying, Jay. Same place you were saying. I'm going to go already. Ah, okay. Cool. Yeah. That one's no. So these are this these places aren't discovered. Well, the other the one of the planets is, I guess, but the one Two I'm on. Two of them is are it. already. Two okay. of them are already discovered, but he's in epsilon. I'm guessing fourteen ninety eight. Five or three. Five or three, um, or should, uh, should... three. Three. Okay. I'm on. I'm on five. Four. I'm on oh, four. four. Yeah. Oh, you're on four where the Estrium is. Okay. Well, so, that's the one that El Donk went to. It says oh. discovered for me. It says, says discovered by El Donk on ten fourteen for me. Looking at yeah. it. Probably because it's the only one that had Estrium in it on this whole system. <laughs> And I bet you it's not there. <laughs> oh, it does say oh, yeah. discovered by El Don. Yeah, okay, weird. So, d did we want to actually go to anything in this system? I'm not seeing anything terribly appetizing. I had all these, any of these planets, really. Yeah, I can probably keep moving. Um, so now you have the higher one, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could do the 60. Oh, there's a black hole system. Uh, what's that called? Lixib A. Is that, is that any, would that be a good or a bad? Well, that's where we'd find infectors and stuff, which is what we're also doing today. So the fact that oh. we found it, it's a good thing. Yeah. Well, I was, I was thinking that, uh, there's, a. uh, uh Air Tumba, mm -hmm. which is 20 light years away. It's another K, and then there's another one, Brutamath. Bru <laughs> A couple of other okay. systems. So, well, the black hole system, though, but we don't want to fight infectors with these kind of ships. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I'm, all I'm saying is that was that was the other goal that I wanted to do today was to go fight with the uh, battleships. Oh, all of the battleships, get right. Some, see right. if we can get a quantum or two. All right, well, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, you go ahead, though. Go ahead and go to the next system you were talking about here. There's actually a lot of good stuff in this black hole system, too, so. All right. That's so not just... necessarily in fact. And I actually don't see any legacy anything in this system anyway, so. I'm like, oh, so I'm guessing we're all splitting up and going in different directions then? Yeah, it makes sense. That's fine. Well, nah. I mean, stay close, but we're not going to mine too terribly long. I just wanted to, uh, you know, fill up and we can make our way back and do some uh, do some combat. I'm going to have to get the taxi right away. How many systems or how many cargo systems do you have on the M2? Eight. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, you could mine all day. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of set up for that. It's <laughs> but the, the the problem is 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 if I fill like probably even like more than a third of that, I'm probably not gonna be able to take back off on the planet. <laughs> I can't wait well, to use that tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> you you also gotta remember, Jay, we're on a point or a point three gravity planet too. Yeah. So you might actually be able to take. Oh a plan yeah, on. you know you got a good point there. I forgot about that that gravity difference. Yeah, that would make it. Yeah, it's good. it's one of the reasons why we kind of were like, oh, yeah. this is a really good system. Yeah, but you okay. don't even need to. I don't think you have to worry about that anyway. I mean, as long as you set a waypoint, and as long as you enter Atmos directly above the planet, I mean, you could literally fall, and you, we'd probably be fine. You could just transfer it to the furnaces, and then you could land or whatever i don't think that's gonna yeah. be an issue for us yeah yeah i don't i don't think it would be either it'd be pretty hard pressed to fill eight eight bays at one one uh outing oh i'm <laughs> doing it tonight it's happening uh, all right. 
That's yeah. to say, don't don't give us that chalice there, Jay. We will do it. <laughs> I will I will fill that entire thing up. So what are we after? We're just after just like the everything? Yeah, we need everything. Of course, if you happen to see like the really rare stuff like the golds and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, everything's good. I'm yeah, I'm man. going for I'm going from Pataxid now because I actually need it. <laughs> I found two gold asteroids earlier today, so I oh, did you? back with the uh, like three thousand five hundred ore. Oh wow. Nice. Yeah, I, I even streamed it. Ooh. Are we admin mining? Instructors right now. Cool. <laughs> You know, you know how happy I am when 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 you're out like getting this stuff, and then you can like instantly process it. Right, right by the time you get back, you might not even have to put it in the furnace. <laughs> Are you guys there yet? Uh, where to where? Oh, oh, I didn't hear anybody for a while, so I was just. Yeah. No, I'm. Uh, I. I just went off in my own direction. Next year, I was just like, I'm going to ADD off in this direction. So I'm just like, okay, fine. I'm just do my own thing then. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's... Well, I mean, yeah. We could always rendezvous if we see something there. If anybody gets in trouble with drones or something. Sorry, guys. Oh, there you are. I mean, the only thing that I would really like tempt drones with is like a gold asteroid or something like that. Like anything else, I can basically just find elsewhere. Mm. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not with the with the uh, Plutus M1. I wasn't super scared of the drones. I I got in many battles with drones when out and about. I only I only died. I died right at the end of the last thing with it because. I had a missing block on the back of the ship and I didn't I haven't I didn't fix the ship for a very long time and and took some damage and when my shields finally went down um, I think I took a pop that hit my shield or or the warp core or something and it blew up the entire ship <laughs> because oh, yeah. I, had a, I had a missing block and so it was directly exposed to the outside and I think that's that's why I bit it because of negligence <laughs> what's admin mining that many lasers shoot through asteroids and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does somebody not know that we're in Reforged Eden? I don't know. I don't know what that means. 
That was just an ironic comment regarding next cause take forge. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got you, I got you. Yeah, I mean, it's all, you know, it's all comparable, right? But, you know, once you're used to something bigger, then, you know, it's like, you know, the, the four just becomes like as slow as an SV. It's like when we first used the chisels, it was like, all right. <laughs> Why would I ever mind with anything less than 21 lasers? <laughs> that had 21 lasers on it? Holy smokes. What, 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 what's cap? Is it 20? 21? 21, yeah. Well, I think it 20. had 20. It has 20, not 21. But 21 okay. is the cap. Wow. Um, you could put more, but they won't They won't work. Only 21 will work as far as the game coding, I think. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and five, four or five drills is still really fast. I mean, it, it literally only takes like another minute maybe to do an asteroid with four yeah. versus the. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. And that's what I was saying. Like the majority of mining with CVs is going from asteroid to asteroid. I mean, it's not the mining. The mining is so quick that it's not even really a part of it. Yeah, yeah, finding those asteroids is the uh, biggest thing. And with that better radar. Yeah, oh, I gotta, I gotta get one of them. <laughs> yeah, we we need to do that. I couldn't buy it when we were at the Polaris station. I didn't have enough money. Well, why didn't you tell me? Uh, that's a good point. Like I'm, I'm literally sitting on a hundred k right now. Yeah, yeah. If you could buy two of those next time you're there, but they're they're the advanced turret upgrade kits. We have two large turret upgrade kits, but those are for weapons. We need the advanced ones for the. Long range scanners. How's it working, Jay? Lovely. Nice. T totally, totally happy. Nice, nice. Not even scared. I'm getting within two kilometers of a Xeno shipyard. I'm like, Psh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Don't lose that thing. It was expensive. I know, I don't know. I'm not gonna. No, he's good. He's got uh, a he's got an advanced shield on there. It's all hardened steel. All the thrusters can get shot out and nothing would happen. Like you're you're fine, dude. All the turrets well, could get blown up and nothing would happen. Oh, that's the one that you uh you went in and you uh All the yeah, all the drills can get blown out, nothing would happen. Like that thing's fine. And with a tier two shield, like you're gonna get away and warp out before you should, yeah. I mean, unless I mean, you go it, straight into a big CV or something. Right, right, yeah. If you're dealing with drones, they don't. Their damage output isn't really enough to make you sweat bullets, especially when you can defend yourself against drones pretty good too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you got the flak and the rockets and all that shit. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. Hundred K, yeah. I, I need to. I, uh, we we need to be able to sell these thrusters and stuff. That's that's where we're losing money. Here is we need to we need to be getting into some of these things. Well, we gotta like kill Xerox. Yeah. So today's gonna determine. I would. What what you think? It's more profitable yet though to just go out and seek gold asteroids and sell that directly. No. No. Absolute, the turnover rate on gold is terrible. Oh, is it? I thought it was it, good. It is. It is terrible, and honestly, we need gold to make the bridges for yeah. all of these CVs. Mm. 
Now, making like, bridges and stuff, I guess you could sell those and make some money. But to me, selling the thrusters and the advanced generators, that's going to make you more money. And it's and plus, you get to kill shit. And plus, you get a bunch of resources. Yeah. So, and to me, it just makes sense. I probably see a gold asteroid, like, one out of every 10 or 12 systems. Like, it's not that... It, it's not very common. Yeah, true. Just more more rare thing. Definitely. But we just Some gotta get good with the pirates so we can sell the thrusters. Once we can sell thrusters... We've got thrusters. Like, we've got a bunch of big thrusters back at the base just waiting to be sold. And they, I think they go for, like, 200k each. So... Yeah, we could make money. It's just, you know, it's getting there. Plus, we could make money as well by, you know, the economy, like player economy. Like, you know, there's people that want to buy Xeno and stuff. Um, yeah, which we never went back and salvaged those bases either. We got to go back and salvage those. There's a lot of stuff to do still. Yeah. Salvaging sucks, though. That is one thing it's I know. I, I, I just don't like doing it. <laughs> nah, me either. It wasn't it wasn't too bad though doing the uh C V space salvage. Space salvaging is better than planet salvaging. Yeah. Raiders Guild buys thrusters too. Oh, do they? And Polaris? Okay. Yeah, maybe we should check the Polaris uh, stations that we have locally here to see if they can purchase thrusters. Holy crap. Yeah, Tandemus, we went through that on the starter planet, me and El Donk, and that, that tore to shreds our first base with those bomber drones. That was that was nuts. They dropped bombs on that thing, and the whole thing just went bloop. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> we were not expecting that, man. They, like, swooped in. It's hard to shoot them. It's really hard to get a beat on them because they're so fast. I mean, what kind of, uh, are we looking, are there different, like, Polaris, like, trade stations and stuff like that that we can take a look at to see if they buy them? Because I feel like it's going to be a pretty unique vendor for thrusters. I, I don't know. Like, I'm new to the whole trading thing, so... Like, there's a Polaris trade here where I'm at. Let me go look and see. Yeah, there's a there's a trading station where I'm at as well that I was about that I was gonna hit here in a second. Of course, there's a dreadnought next to it, so you just gotta be careful here.
missed out on the opportunity to get some Chinese food. Kind of upset. Wait, what? Yeah, no, my wife was like, you know, order Chinese food and I'll pick it up on the way home. And, and I was like, all right, just let me know. And then I put the phone down and completely forgot about it. And then just like, you know, an hour goes by and I'm like, shit. <laughs> And then, like, I look at my phone. She's like cussing me out for the last hour, and I'm like, "Oh my god, you know, I'm so sorry." He's like, "Well, missed out on that one." <laughs> Looks so so. Yeah, suffice to say, I'm gonna have a baked potato with some chili on top, which isn't isn't bad either. But oh, I'm I'm gonna have a good dinner today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a got a little date planned for this evening. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Style. Uh, going out to a little Italian place that's near my house. All right, huh? And uh, you know, we'll 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 see. We'll see if this uh, you know, if this is an interesting person or if I'm never going to talk to them again. <laughs> there you go. Nice. nice. Yeah. See, I, I I can't eat around strangers. It's weird. Better than me. It get what? Nah. Can't eat around. Rangers. No, I, I don't know, dude. I feel like the military scarred me for that shit. Like, I don't want to be around anybody when I eat, when I... Honestly, I don't want to be around people, period. Like, you know, unless, like, we're friends. Once we're friends, like, yeah, but strangers? Like, eh. I don't like to eat in restaurants. I don't like... Oh, really? Yeah, I'm weird like that. I'll usually take the food home and then just eat it home. Huh. Yeah, yeah that's weird. That's is like it? super weird. Yeah, that's super weird. Is it? Weird. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty weird, man. <laughs> well, damn, alright. Well, yeah, I don't know, yeah. No, I'm just, I don't know, I'm pretty introverted. I mean, aren't we all? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, I know some extremely extroverted people. They're not out doing no. things, they're pissed. No, I mean, just like us, like, just, you know. A lot of us in the Anvil community, you know, or just like us, you know, we're just like put a lot of time into these video games and stuff like that. It's like we we do we don't go outside. That's how we can you know put sixteen hours into Imperion a day. I wish I could put sixteen hours in there, but man, yeah, I hear you though. Well, I mean, I could I could definitely put like sixteen eighteen hours into Imperion on my days off. That be uh, I that that is no stretch to the imagination. Right. Actually, uh, speaking of real life stuff, I actually applied for a couple of places uh, last night. Oh yeah. Yeah, a couple of the, the uh, a couple of the police departments in my area are actually uh, starting their academies up again. So, cool. Also applied for the post office. Oh yeah, my uh, my uncle always worked at a he worked at the post office all his life. He seemed to. Do good with it, you know. I mean, it it pays decent, and you know, you get a retirement, and yeah. Like, uh, I would never be rich, but I would never be hungry. Right. Oh, this is one of those cool florist stations. Yeah, the one on that's pretty cool. Is it the one that has like a little bay or whatever? I think it's like a, it's like a legit like uh, kind of multi-floor. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's like a space station. Like it feels like one of the uh, little uh, rest stops at uh, in Star Citizen. Yeah. Don't see anybody that's buying ship parts, though.
Yeah, nobody here is buying anything more than that. Okay, for a second, guys. All right. I'm not. I'm not seeing a. Uh... Vendor. Oh, <laughs> it's Fred. Nice. Who built this POI? This is a cool little POI. Hey, Treadmore, how you doing? I'm back. Welcome hey. Back. Oh, that's cool. This thing has a little bathroom. The base? <laughs> the uh, the um, station that I'm at, like, it had, like, a little sign that was, like, toilets this way. And I'm just like, wait, like, legit? <laughs> nice. I know. A little uh, cute RP value there. Yeah, space, space travelers, travelers gotta, you know, use a urinal now and then. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna uh, probably get like one or two more asteroids here, and then I'm probably gonna make my way back to base to prepare for uh, some some combat. If you guys are down. Hoping El Donk got on by now, but I, I guess he'll probably get on at some point pretty quick here, so we'll see. He said he wasn't going to be terribly late today, right? Uh, yeah. He said about 4.30 or something, I think. Yeah, so that's like 10 minutes from now. That's cool. It all depends on like what you uh, what you want to have on your, uh, on your uh, you know, who do you want to fly, stuff like that. Well, yeah, so the idea was for you not to fly. Huh? <laughs> uh, just because I don't want to make any more bridges. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but we, we got no. Well, okay. So they took out they took out the bludgeons. What was it last night? And yeah, Obsidian kind of like tore the entire thing to pieces. <laughs> and El Doc like got some cosmetic damage and it was, so i went to repair both of them um obsidians took like three hours i think to repair el donks to took be, 10 minutes <laughs> to be fair el donk was dipping and dodging and like like piloting oh well no we wouldn't have gotten the shields down 
Oh. Like, he was going in and out, and, like, I was actually, like, committing to the fucking fight. Yeah. No, I mean, commitment's good. Commitment's good, but... There, there was, there was a lot. Commitment with a purpose is better, you know? Commitment with, like, some tactics mixed in there, sprinkled in a little bit, you know? I mean, weren't you gonna, weren't you gonna bring in, like, a third ship? Oh, no. Not to combat. No, we can't afford another ship for combat yet. Um, no, we're bringing in a drop ship for, for jd uses kind of main cv and stuff but it's also going to serve to uh so that we could start doing some planetary assault stuff like you know we can get some tanks in we'll have a thing to move those around in nice oh, what, are you, I mean, what, what am i what am i if i'm not going to be piloting then what am i supposed to do just sit there and like watch you guys do it mm. yeah. It'd be nicer if we had more. I mean, the the more guns, the better, right? You know. Yeah. So well, I mean, there's not another combat worthy CV. Yeah, there is like only two there's, right now. There's yeah. no one, which is why I was thinking about bringing in a third one last night, but you told me no. Which one? Which one were you gonna bring in? I told you no. Uh, yeah, I was gonna bring in another bludgeon, but you were like, no. Oh we yeah, no, no, not whatever. another bludgeon, because I don't know about these bludgeons. Like that's. So once he told me that's what happened yesterday, I was like, man, so maybe there's like a real problem with these things. So I don't want to bring another one in until I can test how two of them do in combat. And once we see that, then it's like, okay, you know, if it was just, you know, like that certain fight, it just didn't go well or whatever. Uh, but if that's kind of the case, then it's like, nah, back to the drawing board. Need to figure this out. Doesn't make sense to bring a third one in to just have to salvage down again. You know what I mean? That's all. Just the bludgeons, honestly, like, it's, I feel like they're just kind of limited in the class that they're in. You know, they are like a first tier kind of like CV. They're, they're, you know, they're not going to be spectacular for what they cost. They're not, but it could, it, yeah, it could be better, could be better armored in the front. So if that's the case, I mean, I would, I would probably like, if these don't work out, um, I'll probably bring in the uh, the Conda Mark II. And... Yeah, you have you have a Conda Mark II. Yeah, yeah. Test that one out. So that I mean, honestly, that might be a thing to do, regardless. But um, I don't know if we're gonna have the resources for that right now. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna head back now. Where um. Where the hell do we live? Why is my waypoint not there? It's annoying. <laughs> there it is. How far is Jay's combat CV? He said at least another week, so... Yeah, a week, week to two out before I actually get that ready. Alright, head back to... show anything prior to that that's that's what really confuses me with these lines you know like you see lines sometimes you know what where you warp to in the map but like where i'm at now it shows me only the last place i warped to and i can't see beyond that like i don't know why that is i mean why doesn't it show me the lines going like back to the home planet like it's just non-existent <laughs> that's weird Uh, with the bludgeons, they they just don't have enough. Uh, there's not enough for it to chew through. I guess I, I don't know. I I don't know. I, that's why I wanted to determine what's wrong. Cause when I did the first fight with it, it was okay. I mean, I lost the front, but I didn't really lose anything else. 
Um, but I, I, I need to see why it went for the bridge and stuff before, um... Which I guess that makes sense, because I think the bridge is more forward than the, uh... Guns on the sides and the f top. So, it, it might just be a placement issue, but... I mean, it just... I feel like it could, for what it is, it's got a, it got a very small nose. For the kind of damage it's supposed to take on. Yeah, so that's what I mean. I mean, if it doesn't if it doesn't do it, then I'll just scrap it and I'll just have to design something else. Because to to add too much more blocks on that, the the kind of blocks that I'd have to add for that to make sense, like it kind of has to be redesigned. And that's the thing. It was a quick build. It was like a you know two three day build, so it wasn't. It wasn't a terribly invested build. I mean, it's still a good... Like, it's not a bad ship. But it, it's not, like... I don't know. It, it's... You're kind of limited. Because, you know, the more blocks you add, the more, you know... It's it's a, it's an assault ship. It's not a, it's not a tanky ship. Well, that's what I want to see. That's why I want to take two out and see if it's if it's the ship, if it was the scenario, if it was not the scenario, but the uh, the actual fight you guys had. Did something happen? I don't know. So let, let's see. We'll see. Try mix up plasma and missiles. Not only missiles, plasma does a ton of damage against blocks. Damn expensive though. Yeah, but you gotta get close. Plasma has quite a good range actually against fast moving targets. It can be a pain though. Okay. Yeah, I mean, once I can get to where I can afford that ammo and stuff, definitely. Be a thing. Yeah, it seemed like it crafted the stuff, so I think it's good.
titanium, carbon, and copper silicon. Trying to build Exco? Jay's uh drop ship. Ah. Well you need any uh iron, titanium, cobalt, copper, promethium. We need a ton of copper. We need we need uh, lots oh. of we're actually like really low on copper. Oh, well I'm 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 coming in with some right now. As soon as I land somewhere. So wh 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 where you want the copper at? Well, just put everything in furnace one. Well, I wh wh where you want all the processed copper at? Oh, uh, common ingots. And what uh, what 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 building the, uh, the nest? Sure at? Everything in the nest. nest. Yeah. Okay. Ignits, nice. Oh, you're in there. Alright, go ahead, go ahead. Alright. Oh, that's alright. There's... There. Now you got some iron process already. Or not iron, copper. Sweet. Oh, you're processing on the fly there. Mm-hmm. How exciting. Yeah, that's a lot. Well, damn thing, I, I got four advanced constructors and four small constructors, and all eight of them were working full-time, the whole time. So nice. it's... I got a lot of other process stuff too. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. Um, is there a place for uh, pentaxid? I'm is just that... putting it in uh, input for now. Uh, what about? I mean, uh, processed pentaxid. Oh, um, like broken down pen? Yeah, I guess there's not really, but just put it in common or for now. Common or did, did you turn all the pentaxid into warp fuel? Yeah. Yeah. I needed oh. some right off the gate, so. Um, we have thousands of crystals anyway, so you, you, you want some for ammo? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's used in a lot of the like more powerful ammunition, so we kind of need to save some for that. Yeah, so there's oh, there's oh, over right. a thousand of it in the input, so it should be fine. Oh. A couple thousand more now. <laughs> nice, nice. Um Yeah, I'll keep an extra five hundred on the ship just for replacement fuel. Cool. I'm happy. I wanna go out and do it again. <laughs> no. No. Uh, we got we got other things to do, sir. Yeah, I know. First I things know. first, we got to look at this uh, dropship of yours. I didn't even get into any drone scuffles. I even tried to tempt them by getting close to a place, but no. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, that's cool, man. That's cool. I'm, I'm getting out. See, I, I got to feel like I'm doing something now and then, even though you, like, you spawned in like that, so it's a really easy job. But I, I did come back with something to help pay go. for all the, all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at your uh, dropship right now. It's outside. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got your... Damn. You got that spawn already. Oh, dude. This is like a huge freaking hangar. Holy crap. This fits in the oh. drop pod slot? Yeah, it, it goes it, it goes a little bit past the edge of the ship, but uh, wow. yeah. No, it's a, um, some uh, yeah, some features about this. Obviously, it needs some CPU blocks um, for Reforged Eden. Yeah. So we've got um, to fulfill everything on it with the advanced radar. Um, you, well, we've got two deconstructor bays. Um, we're gonna need a basic core, two improved cores, and one advanced core. Radar, and I don't know. I don't know if it needs that extra generator over there. That's, but yeah. Other than that, um, one side over here, you've got yeah, you got the uh, gravity generator is optional. So when it's parked on the helios, you'd want to turn that off. We we call uh, that the uh, the hop head lever. 
Yeah, um, over here we got the uh, Brit. Well, here's all the uh, info. Um, what's what's up with the? Uh, now, now you can put a warp core in here. Um, I, although it doesn't, you know, I didn't necessarily think it needs it, but I did uh, carve out a little spot on the roof in case you want to warp this directly around. Nice. Um, so yeah, you can add an advanced warp core and all the reforged parts um, and your CPU cool. Um, over, oh, on the other side, uh, over here, this is just like a little crew thing, and you can get in and out of the ship from the ground from both sides here. So this is like uh, you got a toilet, basically, over here and a couple beds. And then a way out. And then on the other side, obviously, is the bridge and some a couple uh, passenger seats. Uh, one other thing, too. Um, you want to... Uh, here... Come to the back, I'll just show you this weird little thing that was the last minute detail. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 so. So, up here in the back corners is these doors up in the air above the, above the thrusters. And those are just extra rooms to place parts. Fuel tanks or O2 tanks or even small generators. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. okay. So that's just a weird little thing. I just thought I'd show you that one. That is cool, yeah. Damn. Massive. Massive awesomeness. Oh, yeah, I do. I, I'm, I'm excited for this thing. I, it's got, like, literally everything but a farm. I mean, it, yeah, the armor stuff, medical stuff, showers, even got a toilet. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it, it, well, so like with this, right? Like, you know, yeah, I would oh, definitely put a warp core in here just because I could see us like parking the Helios at the star and then just literally going on a planet expedition in this thing and being able to warp between planets in the same system. Yeah, I, you know, I, I figured it was, you know, at, at first I was planning this out not to have a warp core to save the CPU and space and everything, but then I'm like, you know, it could really come in useful for stuff. So yeah, you just got it sticks down a little bit from the ceiling. It's not like the most awesome looking installation, but I left it out. So you don't, you know, if you're not going to use it that way, if you're just going to warp with the Helios, which is, yeah. you Where's know, the shower. Oh, that's that's in the little crew thing. It's uh, oh the shower. No, the shower is in the medical right here at the in the hangar. It's right right in the middle. Nice glass shower, gang. Very nice. So then, and then on the roof, it has that place for the um, the advanced or the the radar, the the new reforged radar. They're they're making fun of you because you're only level twenty. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, I feel like I'm, yeah, I know. Go hit some rocks, I, Jay. Jesus. Oh, uh, everything I do, it, nothing really gives me experience except for shooting bad guys. And it's, oh yeah, you hit rocks, yeah. I haven't been out too much. I've been I've been building, obviously, so you know I do those things. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, so let me let me let me look at this. Let me look at the Conda Mark II and see if I could bring like how hard would that be to bring in? Um, yeah, see, it's just more matrixes. It, I mean, that's the only thing holding me back from being able to bring it though. Is the more bridges and matrixes. Mm. Are you trying to bring in a third ship? I could. I mean, well, you're saying, you know, you don't have anything to do and everything. So, I mean, it would make sense to, I guess, have a third one to go do combat now. But we'd have to spend another hour building more matrixes and stuff. So, I mean, that's that's uh, effectively you basically just said, yeah, no, I'm, I'm basically SOL. That's why, yeah. I, that's why I was trying to get a third one of those bludgeons in last night. So yeah. we could have three for today. Well, I didn't want yeah. to do the bludgeon. That's the thing. It, it wasn't the fact that I didn't want a third combat ship. I just I didn't think too far about what you meant by that. I just thought you wanted yeah. to bring a third one in just to have a third one. And I was like, no, ah. I was trying to have I was trying to have three ships because there's normally three people playing, right, whether it be right. me, right, you, right, yeah, Randall, yeah, or yeah. No, I I mean I, I kind of would like to have like three ships too. I mean, that's that's kind of crappy, you know. But it, um, but instead, I'm out here. Chasing this copper asteroid in space. Hmm. Well. 
But yeah, that's that's that was my whole point was I was literally trying to prepare for the stream for today so we could actually have stuff to do. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, we do have that that salvage ship, but that's that's not a combat ship. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. No, I think like like the the, the Pluto Sim two has got a bigger shield and some some guns and stuff. It could fly around and probably help out and stay all right. But it's if it did get caught or hit bad, it would be really. I, I would lost. not want to take one of our mining ships just because the laser upgrades are asses to get. So, yeah, they are. They like are. mining ships should not be going into combat, in my opinion. Just because no, I mean they're, that that's yeah, they're two valuable things. You know, what I, I, mean? I would I would rather strap an extra shield to uh, El Donk's um, junk box over there and like cover it with turrets and go with that thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, hmm. yeah. I don't have anything like like. Especially wonderful for like combat at the time. I mean, the the while well, that's not really expensive. Of course, again, I would you know, I like to say the the interfector could work too, but that's a, that's a big Xeno build and um, but yeah, it can take out nullifiers and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, I mean, we could we could plan the the combat excursion next time and get like something else in. We got a huge amount of like production power, and if you need certain resources, tell me to go get them, and I'll go get them. And uh, we have all these constructors and stuff just nonstop building, and we got some. We got like what thirty, forty freaking constructors available right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what do you need? The bridges and the matrixes. Yeah. Um. I mean, I guess you two, you two could just go out, and I'll probably stay here and gather up some more and get these things built. Well, or or I can I can fly with one of you guys too. I mean, I don't you know I don't care that much, but I rather I rather I rather go. I mean, it would be kind of we'd have a little bit more of an advantage attacking with three ships too because. There's more ships. There's more. It would split up the the damage output amongst all the ships, and we would uh, increase our damage output. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm crafting the things. It'll it'll just take a while. So. Yeah. You're using the um, the production module. No, no. I'm using the uh, base. I I'll be right back. Give me a minute. Hey, I'll be uh, I'll be right back. Give me a couple minutes here. Oh man, everyone's going okay. Jeez. No, oh, uh, temporarily. Yeah, I am not singing. 
You got me. Some, you got me confused for somebody else. I might. I might sing to my own stream a little bit later. American Idol status. I am not karaokeing on Excalibur Strape. Maybe a little bit later, if all of you are good. Oh, there is enough alcohol in this house to make me, but I have plans later. Oh, it's just, uh, I think it's, I'm, I'm under Obsidian Fire. I linked it in the um, um, main chat earlier today. In the announcements channel when I started streaming. But you never know, there might be some singing a little bit later. You, you know, if I have a good enough evening, I might come home, you know. Probably won't be, play I might not play Imperion if I do that, though. Just because I don't want to, like, you know, completely and totally destroy everything. Oh, streaming site. Oh, I'm on uh, Twitch. Oh, shit. There we go. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate all the all the little bit of attention I can get. All right, Grumble. Thank you for the follow, man. Oh my goodness gracious! I don't know. Oh my gosh. All the bings and the and the and the noises and the chimes. I appreciate it guys, I really do. I'm not you know, I'm not a big builder like X Cal and stuff like that, but you know, I have fun sometimes. Play some Imperion, uh, Imperion, maybe some other games every once in a while. Um, I usually do like I'm trying to do like Mondays and um, Mondays and Wednesdays are my two days that I'm trying to kind of like get myself in here and play shenanigans. Mondays and Wednesdays, nice. Hey, I'm back. What up? Welcome, Welcome back, Jay Randall. Hey, man, I want to go. Uh, well. So so, do we know what we're doing? Are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna go mining or are we gonna go? I mean, Mister X Cal has done like gone off and to do something, and his stream was trying to get me to do karaoke while he was gone. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, yeah. But yeah, I think I think all four of us need our own combat ships too, and our own miners, and yeah, we could all like clump up on and be like space mobile super empire in a little while once we get another ship in. <laughs> I've been I've been tossing around the idea of actually like 
starting of uh, doing my own shit personally, but like I just I can't seem to get it like within the non stupid expensive range. It's really hard to do with a combat ship. I don't think. Yeah. It, and 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 honestly, if it's really cheap, it's probably gonna be kind of cheap and not take the damage either. I mean, it's just got to be big, a lot of a lot of armor. And it's going to need big time CPU and thrust and weapons, and it just needs it all. So it's just the most expensive kind of build, really, when you get into that oh, higher end on combat like, class. <laughs> I want it to look cool too. Yeah, yeah, of which course. Which is I mean. my, my big my big issue because I also can't build worth a damn. Oh, well, I mean, how do you? Uh, what's your method? I mean, uh, when you go about like building a ship, I mean. How, how do you go about, like, do, do you come up with, like, a, an idea, a general shape design on how you want it first, and then uh, and then, I, then, then then how do you start doing the blocks from there? I'm just curious. Honestly, I usually am browsing Reddit, and I'm like, that looks like a cool spaceship, and then I try to make it, and then I fail. Mm. See, <laughs> like, I, am, I am not a very creative person. And I just know that about myself. I just don't. Well, uh, well, uh, well. I mean, uh, here, here's something. Like, 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 if you were going real simple on a, on a like pen and paper, right? And you're and you wanted to draw the the top down profile of what your spaceship's going to look like. Like, you're just drawing a picture. I mean, can you uh, can, can you do you know like something like that and kind of come up with some kind of neat looking design, at least from like one one perspective, you know? I mean, probably. Um, and, and the big thing with translating that to Imperium is just knowing that, okay, you've only got two angles to use. So you got 45 or the 22.5 typically, unless you use that weird block in v 4 <laughs> Um But yeah, what, what I'm getting at is, is a lot of times, you know, especially with bigger, more complicated ships, I'll... Um, I actually, I, I lay out the blocks like Minecraft, you know, I'm basically just trying to get proportions and general dimensions. So I don't, I won't even use any angled blocks or anything, just full blocks. I'll just black, 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 and draw this wire frame of it, kind of like, and, and, and then, and you can, like, if something doesn't proportion outright, you can change it quick or copy and paste, like, something and, and uh, stretch it out or, you know, whatever you, whatever manipulation. And then you kind of work from there, and then you kind of like try to get, you know, work out the sides and, and the uh, the three dimensions to it. And then and then it's basically going through with a bunch of the the, the wedge and angled blocks. And like, if, if you laid out the box right, so you know, if you're doing angles, it's like either a 45 or a 22.5. There's blocks in the game that will fit all those angles at different like whatever. So then you can kind of lay it out pretty quickly and be relatively satisfied you know without putting in like a huge amount of time and be like oh i i, I don't like this whole chunk of the ship just it, it, it's just a method it's just a one of many methods <laughs> i mean i'll doubt definitely you know maybe i did maybe that's what i need to do or maybe i do instead of like trying to do it like straight from my brain i just need to like sit there with a pen and piece of paper and just be like you know what i feel like this is going to be a, the general shape of the ship yeah, um, I mean, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a way you could definitely uh, try it. I mean, like, but, but like, like me, my, my thing, I come up with the ugliest looking designs. Maybe, maybe they work all right, but the ugliest looking designs, if I uh, try to plan out an interior first before the hull, and I've seen people do that, I, but I'll usually end up with like these boxy looking things, and, and it never works for me. So I, yeah, I, I like to like do this wireframe thing. With anything bigger, a small stuff maybe not, but and it does help because you can like it's really quick and you can just like you're drawing on a piece of paper and then it's just easier. And hello, did you ever join the channel? Is that all done? Yeah, what's up? I was trying to speak up on y'all. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, you know, we're uh, we're getting the creative secrets of Jay Randall over here. This is some okay. good stuff. He's, uh, oh. he's, giving me, he's telling me his method for building and stuff like that because I built oh. potatoes. It, it, it's one method. It's one method. Now, a lot of ships, before I would start from the front and work to the, to the back. 
I've done that before too, but I try, I'm trying to get away from that more. Um, and then another design style is kind of like a 3D printer. Like you're, you're just doing like a single block row at a time. You just keep on building and building and building and building, especially like that's how the, uh, the scar crawler was, was made. That was more of like a, a weird 3D printer approach. <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly, like I usually <clears throat> do like a, um, a layout first. I, I do do the skeleton method, but like, yeah, I I, 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 I do not like to um, lay out like the like where I want ship parts and stuff. Well, besides hull thrusters, I mean you got you want to plan out the thrusters when you're doing the hull. But yeah, I don't like to do that because I like to try to create space in the ship and then like play interior design and try to work out that space, you know, with hallways and and try to make the room fit the parts where I want them to be. And, you know, sometimes even in extreme situations, which I haven't done lately, but in extreme situations, even modify the, the hull of the ship a little bit to fit a part better inside the ship. But, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just if, if you're going for the, the looks part of it, um, I just I, I, have not, I haven't seen too many crazy Z pulls it off, but he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty crazy. <laughs> but uh, trying to, like, lay out your interior parts and design first and then build a hall around that it just normally to me it, it, it unless you're really good at it probably uh, it's it's harder to do and it's harder to make the hall look good well and I, I think another thing that i'm also kind of wrestling with is i have i i play the game more often than i do the creative in the game right like I, right i'm actually pretty decent at the game itself it's just like building for the game i'm I don't, know, I don't know. I think I spent too much time utilitarian and not enough time, you know, actually building for like aesthetics. And I think I need to like, I need practice. You know, I need practice. I need to, you know, have some time. You know, you want me to tell you a secret, uh, Obsidian, real quick. What's up? I'll solve all your issues. Just go on the workshop and download something from Jay Randall. And you'll oh, no, 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 <laughs> that is not the answer. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> no. Uh, I, well, I'm saying, I mean, not everybody. I mean, like, like I've, you know, with all these kind of like Minecraft games and all this stuff, I've always, I, you know, in it, just about every game, I've always been into building and making stuff. It's from a little kid from Legos. I mean, it's just like what I do with any game that allows it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I try to build in most of my games, but it seems like it. I have my boxes, and it, if it can make that my box, and I'm like, all right, I got my one whatever, and I'm happy, you know, and then I'm kind of done, you know. Mm. So, this is the only game I've actually built, like, more than one thing off of, if that makes sense, you know, because so many times I'm like, oh, well, this works for everything, so I'm good. Oh, yeah, I mean, it depends, you know, if you're looking at a purely practical standpoint. If I, you know, if you're going for complete practical things, everybody would have flying rectangles because it's the most practical shape for a ship i mean it just it works you, you get the most amount of space for the blocks used and that's what everybody would have yeah, but that sucks i wouldn't even want to play the game everything looks like ugly boxes flying around i and mean that's why you're better than the rest of us because <laughs> well, we like boxes are great and then you came over and go look at this box and we went well, <laughs> well, and that's the thing too with all these modules that I've been, you know, uh, me and the other other authors been working on and, and building for this, to all of them end up having to be a box. <laughs> it's, it's like oh, it's self defeating oh, yeah, right yeah. there, but you I know. Mean, but yep. you make very pretty boxes. I very I tr boxes. I try to do everything I possibly can to a box to make it look like not a box. You know, like 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 from the early earliest ships on, I always like the big hangers, and big hangers are big boxes, and it's always been a challenge to try to conceal the box within the ship. <laughs> you know, it's it, it, try to make it not look like a box, but not yet, look like a box, yeah. But but yet it has a really big box in it. <laughs> you ever stream your building there, at the Uh, I haven't done streaming. I I do YouTube videos. Um. 
Yeah, I really should. I got to get set up. For, uh, I I know I said this so many times. I really should do that sometime. I mean, maybe I because yeah, me. I guess what I uh, my thing is is I'll like work off screen most of the time. Sometimes I've done YouTube videos on builds, but I'll I'll do most of the work off screen, and then I'll put out like a, a shorter video showing here, here here's what I got here here's where it's at. Uh, so that's what I'm, I typically do. I mean, if you're looking for people to watch you, literally like. I think I had 20 people literally watching me mine earlier today. Like there were 20 people, and we were talking about how what constitutes a cookie and how meat could be a cookie. Like that was my stream <laughs> for the first hour and a half of me being awake today. Right. Under right. caffeinated and everything like that. So I mean, it's it, even like having like a little bit of conversation on the side is actually kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. That's not, yeah, I get that. I I really probably should do that, but yeah. It, it, some of the things that are stopping me too is like I don't I didn't really want to have to deal with like all the setup and moderators and all the little you know I don't I mean, the, the gift subs and all the yeah I don't know the, well, the, I mean, the, 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 the typical like, kind of streaming stuff that you would see and it's like I didn't really want to it's not what I'm doing it for it's about building and not really about you know <laughs> Well, I mean, Twi you wouldn't really get the Twitch subs and stuff like that at the beginning because you'd have to reach affiliate first. Um, but, like, honestly, like, if XCal could literally take you and copy his settings on OBS to you, and it, you could be set up and ready to stream in about 20 minutes. Oh, really? Like, yeah. it, it, it really does. OBS does not take that long to set up. And yeah, no, no. I, I use OBS now to record the videos anyway. It's. Yeah, so, I mean, it would be fine. But. It, it's got an option for that, but somehow I'm not set up right with Twitch or something, so it doesn't know how to connect to Twitch, and I got to I gotta just research that. I'm sure it's, I'm sure there's info online on how to set it up. There's there's probably a, col a semicolon somewhere that's just ruining your day. <laughs> that, that seems to be the uh, a big issue. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, I had a suggestion in my chat. They were like, hey, you and Jay Randall should do a build stream together. It's like, I am way the hell too ADD. Like, you'd kill me by the end of the stream. <laughs> well, it, it, it depends. You know, when you get into these these builds, some of these builds, I mean, uh, damn, they take a long time. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, if you get, you got to have some dedication there, too, and, and some time on your hands, I suppose. Otherwise, it's going you know, to seem miserable <laughs> I, I try to spend at least a little bit of time in creative every day even if i have no intention of like you know bringing in some of these builds just playing with shapes and stuff like that what oh yeah 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 really yeah really kind of like playing with and kind of like uh, hyper focusing on lately is the um like basically uh thrusters and the cool little designs you can make around your thrusters Oh, okay, yeah, Thr thruster housings, yeah, it's quite, quite yeah. an art, art, art to thruster housings. <laughs> so important to make a ship look good, too, if you can pull them off, or or the ship can, <laughs> if it's big enough. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, uh, another good way to do block exercises would be, especially if you re really get to know your your wedge blocks and there's in the three different like sets of them kind of or four um is is build a sphere oh i mean i i, I build um i'm not talking sphere. a circle I'm, I'm talking a full 3d sphere with blocks and try to get it as smooth on the edges as you can and th 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 that's really good exercise it's kind of like going through guitar chords <laughs> All right, I think I'll I think I'll work on that then because like well, I, it, I, can, I can build a dodecahedron. That's no problem. Right, right. Well, like, yeah, it, 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 yeah. Uh, spheres just it, it can get more complicated, you know. Uh, to, and it, you can make spheres different in this game, but I mean that's a good thing. But you know what? It, it sounds like at, at your level, you might have fun. Just don't don't build something for function once. Just build something to look really pretty. Just like. Do crazy stuff that makes no sense for practical game purposes, and just or build a POI or something that doesn't need to care about the rules, and uh, just let yourself go and not not worry about function. That's that's a good way to to train yourself on blocks and stuff too.
Hey, I got a weird question. Did someone go out and harvest a bunch of fruits um, and put it in the fridge? Um, I've been collecting from the garden. Okay, dude. I was just wondering because we have 257 fruits. I'm trying to figure out what I need to plant so we could, you know, get a whole bunch of uh, emergency packs going. So, so, um, so where did that is Excalibur around? Did he, did he go somewhere? Is he still in the stream? Yeah. He, he's oh, just angry. So you're qu <laughs> you're really quiet. <laughs> Oh, okay. The bridges and matrices. Well, should I go out and mine? <laughs> uh, yeah. It doesn't look like we're gonna do combat today, so yeah, go ahead, I guess. All right. Uh, the next go. What's that? You're muted. No, I'm not. Shouldn't be. No, you did. Could take what you have to hunt Corvettes for the extenders. Can't really do that. Ice Wolf, and you're awesome. Thank you so much. Ice Wolf, and dude? Uh, told me what I need to plant. So it much easier. Oh. What are you? Uh, what are you gonna make? Uh, ration packs. And apparently, I need fun. Uh, fun. <laughs> five pumpkins, two corn, three fire palms, five spice, and five amber saps. And gives around five rations. So that helps out tremendously. Because I keep on going and like start figuring it out, and then as Obsidian says, ADD kicks in, and I'm like, oh, all right, now let's go get water or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I was in the middle of doing something. But, oh right, yeah, yeah. No, that's I, that's cool. That 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 is like the food to build. <laughs> actually, the whole reason why I went out mining earlier was because we didn't have any water. So, I um I was looking for ice asteroids, and I actually ended up finding gold. Oh, nice! Oh, really nice. Oh yeah, water <laughs> that helps too. <laughs> And, uh, is there any reason for me to like uh, mine any ice asteroids? Is there anything that would be handy to save save time with when getting water or something? Or well, we have uh, water generators down. Um, I just forgot to fill them up. So, oh, okay. Um, gotcha. We got water coming now. So um, we've got you know it. It's kind of like one of those opportunity kind of finds like if you have the opportunity to get some get it but if like you're not purposefully going out and getting some unless you just need a whole bunch all of a sudden like i threw the ice in the uh in the production module eh, um just because we kind of need the fuel right cool Oh, that's what I was going to get. The, it was the advanced turret upgrades, right? Yeah. That would be a question for Excalibur. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm actually done for today. Um, yeah, I'm not really in a good mood anymore. So <laughs> and I, I just don't think it's fair for the streamer to just be sitting here and not saying anything, so... I am going to catch you guys on the next one. Um, I don't know. Obi might be streaming. So might, you guys could do something or, or whatever you guys want to do. But I'm going to take off for the day. And I will uh, I will catch you guys likely tomorrow in a better mood. Take care, everybody. All right. Take it easy, man. Later, y'all.